Hello, welcome back to the video series Canvas for Families. My name is Deanne Hermes, and in today's video, we are going to take a quick tour of Canvas. So in the last video, we learned how to log on. And as, you, as soon as you log on, you are going to land right here on this page, and this is called your dashboard. In your dashboard, the first thing you'll notice are these little tiles. And these tiles represent the different classes that you or your student is taking right now. On the far left hand um, corner of your Canvas screen, you're gonna see this little bar. This is called the class, the course navigation bar. And, or I'm sorry, the global navigation bar. The global navigation bar is gonna give you information such as account features. This is where you can click to see all of your courses. This is where you can check your email. We have a recording tool called Studio and a help button. These features are the global navigation bar. Over here on the far right, you're gonna see another toolbar, and this is where you will find your to-do assignments for classes. On your to-do assignment, I have nothing for right now. This is my, my test student account, by the way. And so each of your different classes, all of the assignments from those classes will appear here in the to-do list once your course starts. And so you don't have to go out into each of your separate classes to find your assignments. Instead, you just go to the to-do to list. And the one at the very top is the assignment that is due very next um, by due date. Uh, if recent feedback, this is where if your teacher has left you comments on an assignment, um, they can leave video comments, they might leave audio comments or just feedback. That will, for, that will be right here and you can just click on it and that will take you to that feedback. Um, you can view your grades from this dashboard as well. Now, when I open, when I go ahead and open up my course, and it'll take just a moment here, on the left-hand side, you're going to see another navigation bar. This is called your course navigation bar, and this will give you all of the features that are available to you within this course. So you notice um, when I'm finished, I can always click home. That's a really, really good best practice. If you get lost somewhere in your course, you don't know where to go, just click on the home button and it always takes you back to your main screen. Um, you will oftentimes see pages on your home screen that gives you buttons that you can click on. And when you click on these buttons, it takes you out to a different location. Sometimes if you are in secondary classes, some of your secondary classes may start off your homepage in a module version. And so when you first open up the course, you may see modules. And in these modules, you will find different um, assignments or different things that you're supposed to do along the way in your module. So your view might be slightly different, but it all becomes the same that this is a place where all of your content is housed. And again, I wanna click back home and this takes me back to my main page. So, uh, this was, this was really a quick over tour of, of Canvas. Um, one other thing to note is on your calendar feature. Some, some of our schools are using this as a place to keep track of your Zoom meetings. And so if you click on your calendar, you will, I don't have any Zoom meetings scheduled, but you would see that you could, you could pick up a list of all of your Zoom meetings and you would just come in here by day, click on them, and the link is automatically posted in your calendar. So check with your teacher to see if your teacher uses that feature or not. But that is a quick tour of Canvas and, and what it looks like from, from your first view of it. All right, in our next lesson, we're going to talk and go a little bit deeper into Canvas and how to navigate through some of the features. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.